okay so as we discussed the diastole will in the graph we will uh, make it uh, similar picture on the echo window also in the echo when we fo focus on the mitral valve it will be from the lv towards the mitral valve so anything blood coming towards the lv will be positive and uh, blood going away from the lv to the aorta will be negative so you got a systole here the systole is over now the isovolumetric relaxation time because this is also very important how much is the isovolumetric relaxation time if the isovolumetric relaxation time is very much less then most probably we are dealing with diastolic dysfunction also then comes rapid lv filling that is the e which is considered in the early filling in the echo is the e rapid lv filling will be more because the blood from the pulmonary veins will be having slightly more pressure than the ivc2 or svc2 ra because we can uh, we can consider e and a as a and v in the jvp so a is more than v in the jvp but in the when coming to the left atrium the pressure in the left atrium is more so e will be more than the a in the left atrium to left ventricular tracing so e is more than the a it's a normal tracing we are discussing the early lv filling uh, rapid lv filling occurs then the deceleration occurs then the diastasis the diastasis is longer is better or bradycardia or tachycardia it will also vary with very many of the things like ivrt the deceleration time the e the a the amplitude of the all may vary with the heart rate if the, the diastole is very prolonged all may be prolonged and if the diastole is very much shortened like very much heavily tachycardia as in pericardial disease these all things may be very 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 narrow then comes the lv filling pressure late lv filling pressure the other atrial contraction that is calibrated as a and then comes the inter isovolumetric contraction time then is again the systole this is how actually you will see the graph when you put a pulse doppler usually the uh, continuous doppler is will having high frequency and it can take every valve so the, the aortic valve also can be taken in between the pressure will also be considered in continuous doppler so the pulse doppler will depict the uh pressure this, this pressure is uh, most probably 5 to 10 mm of mercury there are nothing more less in the aortic valve we will be measuring into 80 to uh, 70 80 it's only uh, 10 to 5 to 10 so pulse doppler is better and pulse doppler will be showing these things as we discussed in the